Zhong Li, the character that once you have him, you will unlock the game at easy mode. He will defend you, kill for you, and also heals at C6. I've been meaning him for 947 days, he's my favorite character, so get ready, today's video is gonna be condensed. We're gonna cover everything you need to know about him and every possible way to build him from support to DPS besides showcasing him. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today we are showcasing my one and only Zhong Li. We'll be going through all his builds from support, sub DPS, geo damage DPS, and physical DPS. We'll be also comparing the shield strength of each build at the end of the video to help you decide what works best for you. So without any further ado, let's start with his abilities. So basically, you can play Zhongli in many different ways. Depends on you whether you want him support, then you'll be relying on his tank shield only, or burst damage dealer, which is either sub DPS or geo damage DPS, or depending on the physical hits, which is the physical DPS build. Also keep in mind that his shield is pretty solid in all the cases, but slight differences in the duration depending on the HP he has, cause his shield scales on it. Now for his talents. For the skill, when you press it. A pillar will be summoned with 4 seconds cooldown. But when you hold it, it will give you the shield besides summoning a pillar with 12 seconds cooldown. And the shield itself lasts for 20 seconds, so you'll be able to stay shielded the whole time. It will also be reducing the resistance of enemies by 20% for all elements, even physical, so that will help you do more damage, and that includes all characters in the party, not only Zhongli. Now for the burst, which is one of the most unique abilities, is that once you use it, it will summon a meter out of nowhere that will hit your enemies and petrifies them for 4 seconds at level 10, besides giving you a shield set time. But you should keep in mind that you should invest in this skill to get the best damage results. So if you're going all in with HP artifacts, you would be expecting less numbers but also decent thanks to his passive talent that increases the burst damage by 33% of his max HP. As for the normal attack, if you're building him DPS, then it'll be the most important one, but if you're building him support, then it wouldn't be with much importance. And so that's for the talents. So for his constellations, they are pretty good but not essential. He's already perfect without them, but having them will make him even more invincible. For the C1, it's the least one you need will give you another pillar on the field dealing geo damage and also giving more particles. As for the C2, it'll give shield to all other players in co-op when you use your burst. It's pretty helpful in co-op but won't add anything to your damage. C3 and 5 as usual so good for increasing talent level by 3, giving even stronger shield than burst. I already have his C3 but I'm not gonna activate it before the showcase so we see his true potentials without it. C4 is one of his best constellations for increasing burst AoE damage by 20% and petrification for 2 seconds. As for the C6, the J shield will heal you converting 40% of the damage to HP and that applies to the character you're currently using. Also, you should know that it may interfere with Hu Tao since she relies on low HP. Other than that, it's perfect. As for the artifacts, Zhongli is very flexible and have many artifact options, depends on how you want to build him. So starting with the first set is the tenacity of the middle. The 4-piece is his best set. It even works for all the builds except for the physical DPS. It gives increased attack for party members by 20%, increased HP by 20%, and also increased shield by 30% whenever the shield hits an opponent, even from off-field when the pillar hits the enemies. You also have Noblesse Oblige 4 piece for 20% burst damage and also increase attack for other party members. There is also Archaic Petra for 15% geo damage bonus and if you're going for this set I recommend you mix between 2 piece of Noblesse and 2 piece of Petra for burst damage. 4 piece will buff the elemental damage but not really recommended because you have much better options. As for the physical Zhongli, you would either go 4 piece of Pale Flame, 4 piece of Tracing Bolide or 4 piece Gladiators. For the 2 pieces you either go 2 Pale Flame and 2 Blood Stain or 2 Blood Stain with 2 Gladiators. But I recommend the Pale Flame more because it gives 20% increased physical damage. But it also depends on your stats and what you have. So that was for the sets, now for the stats. And starting with the support build, you'll be going all HP. You'll just be spamming HP on all pieces. For the Sands, for the Goblet, and for the Circlet. The more HP you have, the tankier shield would be. As for the burst damage and GDPS build, you would want attack here, but you could also run HP on it. But it would be the only piece with HP. So maybe if you want to be more comfortable with the shield. For me, I have almost 25k HP. So so it's pretty enough for me and I can put attack. It will also give greater damage. As for here, you would want geo damage bonus and here crit damage or crit. As for the physical build, you would want here attack percentage and HP actually not recommended here. Your main focus here should be on increasing the damage of his normal attacks. For the goblet, you would want physical damage bonus and for the circle, a crit piece. So that's everything you need to know about the artifacts. For the weapons, for the burst damage or the geo DPS, Staff for Homo would be your best choice. It has high crit and base attack and increase HP by 20%, but unfortunately, I don't have it. I should get it next time it comes, I don't care. But anyways, you also have the J-Spear, which is a pretty good weapon for him, with Kurei stats. You also have his signature weapon, the Vortex Vanquisher, but it's unfortunately not his best in slot. You have better options like the Homa and the Jade, and even the 4 stars Deathmatch weapon. It's the Battle Pass weapon with the Kurei stats. It's also a pretty good weapon and his best 4 stars. You also have the Black Cliff, the Shop weapon, with Kurei damage stats. You also have the Lithic Spear Leeway weapon, will give you increased attack and Kurei depends on how many Leeway characters there are in the party. The last one you have here is the Favonius Lance. 
it's an energy recharge weapon and also generates particles more easily. And now for the support build, you would want the Black Tassel. It's a 3 stars weapon, very accessible, you can make it R5 pretty easily and will give you almost 47% HP. For the physical build, you would want Crescent Pike. It's the best choice, gives physical damage bonus. It's the craftable weapon, you can reach it R5 if you have the materials. And you can also use the Homa here, but not better than the Crescent Pike, especially if it's at R5. So that's everything you need to know about his build. Now for his teams. Zhongli is literally the most flexible character and can be run in many many teams. But here I got you with some examples. The first one that I want to talk about is Zhongli, Albedo, Guro, and Bennett. You can add Ningguang for the Mono Geo and if you have Ido, it would be much more better. Having Zhongli, Albedo, Guro, and Ido would be the best Mono Geo team, but I don't have them so yeah. Other team comp that you have is Zhongli, Albedo, Xiao, and Jin. You can replace Jin by Bennett for more damage, but having her with Xiao is also pretty good for the elemental resonance. Speed is increased by 10% and shortens skill CD by 5%. Another team that you have is Zhongli, Sino, Nahida, and Fischl. Sino is a DPS character, so the last thing you want is for his move to be interrupted, so having Zhongli with him is the best option ever. You could put another choice in here, like Alhatham here, either with Quicken or Hyper Bloom. But I mean, look at them. They make a pretty hot team, don't you think? Anyways, now this team was Zhongli, Wanderer, Farzan, and Bennett. Interrupting Wanderer's hits will cause you a time delay, so pairing Zhongli with him will give you a better quality of life. Now for the DPS team, this one is the best team for DPS Zhongli, but you will need Rosario to be at C6. Her C6 will decrease opponent's physical resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Same goes with Yonjin. The C6 will have a normal attack speed increase by 12% and also the C2. Normal attack damage is increased by 15% for 12 seconds. Also, if you have Mika at C6, he would be really helpful in this. He's also physical damage support, especially at C6, like maybe replacing him with Rosaria. As for Fischl and why she's here, she'll be doing super condom reactions with Rosaria and also generating a lot of particles to the team. Also, you have another physical Zhongli team, which is Zhongli, Beidou, Singcho, and Fischl. This team will do electro charge reactions, but actually not as good as the last team. So yeah, you have the option. All right, now let's go to showcase him. Starting with the support build, I'll be giving him the Black Tassel. Yes. And for the artifacts, of course, I'm going for the Tenacity 4 piece. And these are my pieces, focusing on the HP only. All right, and so I have over 50k max HP. Now we'll go and test his shield. And how about we check that in the Spiral Abyss? Ooh, my Wakenki here will be a good test for that. Now first I'm gonna use the shield once. We'll see how much it lasts. Then we'll play normally. Okay then. Okay, now let's see. Okay, I'll be putting a timer on the screen, so you see. And here goes the first hit. Okay. Still, it is still here. Now that's a good test. Oh, it's still here. All right. And you're seeing me. Oh, yeah. All right. That's it. <laughs> all right. Now playing normally. My shield's still there. It's fully protected. Okay. I'm not focusing on clearing it fast. I want you to see. You see? It's still there. How many times did I use it now? Not much. Okay. All right, that was pretty impressive, I gotta say. Now, where else should we try? You know, I have an idea. Oop, one of the reasons why you should get Zhongli. So now that you've seen the support Zhongli, let's go to the Geo DPS Zhongli. So for the Geo DPS bolt, also you can call it the Burst Damage bolt, we'll give him the Jade weapon. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that you could use the new Battle Pass weapon. It has crit rate, so it can also work for this. Oh yeah, I'm using this one. For the artifact, I'm keeping the Tenacity, but I'm changing the stats. So these are my stats, as you can see. Here I'm putting Attack Sands, and here Geo, and here Crit Damage. Okay, let's go then. For the team, I'll be putting Albedo, Guro, and Bennett. Okay, this is my team. So here I'll be focusing on the damage mostly. As for the shield comparison as we said will be at the end of the video. So we'll be also trying this Paralabis. Alright, let's see now for the ult first. Let me put this. Okay. Full rotation and the damage is 140,000. Okay. Cool, cool, pretty cool. With this rotation you can get easily particles from here. Okay, how about another rotation? Don't move. 
Okay. And I guess that's it. All right. So basically that was for testing this team, but it doesn't show the optimal damage. So what we're going to do is going to put Mona instead of Albedo. You can keep Goro or put Albedo instead of him. It won't be much of a difference actually. I tested them both and almost gave the same numbers. But my Goro is not C6, he's C4. So keep that in mind also. And yeah, let's go and try. All right, let's go here. Okay, now let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now. 230,000. All right. Cool, cool. I hope we can get to 300. I never reached that, so it will be the challenge for today. I mean, it's my Zhongli after all. He should reach 300. I don't care. I guess I'll be trying here even one more time. Second try here. Okay. Let's see. Higher? Oh, yes. Higher. <laughs> 263,000. Okay. Cool. I guess we can reach that. I guess we can. Let's go somewhere else now. Hello, my test subject. This team is bad for particles. No particle generation. It's so slow. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. We have it 300. Finally, dude. Okay. Cool. Pretty cool, and from the first try, pretty impressive. All right, that's Zhongli for you. And that's not even with C6 Guru, so pretty impressive, don't you think? Should we go to Raiden 2? One hurt, yeah. Can you guess if we could go again over 300 or not? I don't know, but I guess we can. Time for jumping, but who cares for jumping when I have the shield? Yeah. Mm hmm. 270. Almost. It's almost. Okay. There is a girl that does not give up and wanna see if we can go further. Why? No reason. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's higher. <laughs> All right, finally. Yes. Good. Pretty nice. And now we'll be going to test physical Zhongli. All right, now for the physical team, this will be my team. I actually didn't really test his abilities as physical, so I want to be surprised as well. That would be a test for me too. Gotta give him Crescent Pike with two Pay Flame and two Blood Stained. This is the ratio actually not really impressive, but I don't actually have the best artifacts for this set, so. But here we have 142% physical damage bonus, which is decent. Okay then, let's go here again. First this. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see how much am I doing? 20, okay, 26. All right, that, all right, that was quick clear. But Rosario Alt, I think it was down. I don't know if that affected or not. Let's go to Raiden. It's less pain. Oh, I unconsciously came here again. <laughs> this is hilarious. 25, 25, 28, 29, I mean, 27, oh, ooh, all right, well, that was fast, okay, let's see, all right, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm, Mm. Okay, that was good. But it was faster with the skirmish, I guess. So now we've seen all his builds with showcasing them. Now it's time for the final test for the shield strength that we've talked about earlier. And where's the best place to test that? Of course, the four rowing guards. I'll be putting all the shields together on the screen with the timer so you see the difference clearly. Starting with now. So there was a difference between Zhongli shields depending on the HP ratio. So at the end of the day, it's up to you how much you want HP on your Zhongli. So for me, 24k is pretty enough. I can use the skull over and over before it breaks. And also, I like to dodge actually. So it suits me pretty well, besides the high damage. So I hope today's showcase helped you. So don't let this banner go before you get him. He's a pretty cool and good character. And tell me, how do you build your Zhongli? And how much HP you have on him? So that was everything for today's video. I hope it helped you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a like and subscribe. That'll help my channel. And we'll see you next time.